In this Unity tutorial, I'm going to take the next logical step with procedural meshes. The first video, which is on the Omer Vision website, just did the simplest procedural mesh, which, guess what that is? It's a triangle. And that's this video right over here, a triangle. So the second uh, level thing, the next thing to do would be to make a quad, you know, two triangles to make a square. So that's what I'm going to do in this video. And let me see, I had the project here from uh, that video there, and I just added a floor. See this circle here? This is the first triangle that we made in that video. Bam. Okay, so now on this, just over the space over here, we're going to make another uh, procedural mesh. We'll make a quad. So let's just add another empty game object, and let's call it quad mesh. Okay. Let's call it quad mesh. Enter. And let's get its position correct. So we're there, and we just want to move over by one. Minus one. And we'll give it a different color dot. Let's give it a blue dot. Okay. So that's a triangle, and right here we're going to make the quad. The um, dot is going to be the center of our mesh, just like it was for the triangle. So, um, for the quad mesh, let's make a quad script. Okay. Quad mesh for a script. And then let's take a look at it. Let's first put it on our quad mesh thing right there. And then we're going to edit it. Double click, and here we are. Rip you out. Take those off. Okay, we're ready to start. Um, so kind of everything kind of goes the same as it did with the triangle. I'm going to have a public material so the um, user can tell us what material they want us to draw on the mesh, on the triangles. And then we're going to have our vector 3 for our vertices. It's an array. And when we had the triangle, we had three points make a triangle. So we're going to have two triangles. So now we're going to have six points. Okay. Then we're going to have to have our triangles that we define. Oh, and these are ints because they're indexes to the vertices array. Two triangles. This is an array, sorry. So got to put this here, the straight brackets. And that will have also three for each triangle. So the array size is six. OK. So you're getting the point here that every triangle needs like six. And then for the mapping coordinates, if we want to put a texture material on it, those are vector two UVs. And there's one UV for each vertice. So guess what? This is going to have vector two. It's going to have six. OK, good. So we got our values. And then when we did the triangle, we also made things simple. We just made a variable to hold our offset from the dot in the middle. So I'll do that here, too. And it'll be 0 0.5 moving from the dot in the middle. So now on the start, it's basically where we're going to make our mesh. OK? And we called some functions to do it. So first, we define the mesh data. All right, we'll have a function for that. Then the mesh, um, you know, we have to make a mesh in our empty game object there. So we're going to make a function for that. And then after we have the mesh, then we're going to set the mesh with our data. So we'll pass the mesh to it. All right, so the first function is define mesh data. So we write private void define mesh data. And this is really where things will be different than the triangle one. It's only going to be different because it's going to have more points. So first we'll have the triangle points, um, vertices 0. And I'm going to bring up the picture so we could just have a reference here. So the first triangle, the first three vertices were A, D, and C, with this being the center of the mesh where the dot is in the scene, right? The empty game object dot is right there. So that means for vertice 0, A, we're going to have a new vector 3. It's going to be minus offset, comma, offset to, you know, to get up there, comma, 0. OK? Then for the second vertice in the, in the first triangle, it'll be vector 3. It's going to be the D point over here. So that's going to be a plus offset, comma. And we have to go down. So that's a minus offset comma 0 on the z. And then for the third vector 3, the third point is kind of hiding right here at c. So this is over and down. So this is minus and minus. Minus offset, comma, minus offset. Doo -doo 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 -doo. So that's the first triangle. And this triangle is 
if I just put the letters here, A, D, and C. Okay, A, D, C. Now the second triangle, we're going to have to do it in clockwise order as well. We have to, I'm going to specify the points in clockwise order too. I'll make it A, B, and D. All right, so um, vertices, this is the start of the second triangle, vector three. It's basically the A point, so it's the same thing as this one, minus offset, comma, offset, comma, zero. And I'll put the comment here. We're doing A, B, D. And I spelled something wrong. Vertices, there you go. Okay, now vertices uh, four, this is going to be point B from our picture reference there, vector three. So let's see, that's um, a plus and a plus. So offset, comma, offset, comma, zero. And what the, can I spell things right? There we go. Vertices, and this is the last point from the second triangle, equals new, vector three. And that's point D again, which is plus and minus. So offset, comma, minus offset, comma, zero. Okay, so we got our six points. The next thing we had to do was we had to define the triangles from the points, connect the dots for the points. So triangle zero equals zero, triangle one equals one, kind of simple here. Triangle two equals two. That's one, two, three, these three points right here for the first triangle, which is just for the comment, ADC. Now for the second one, triangle, Triangle, um, why don't we start now? Yeah, three goes three. Triangle <laughs> four equals four, and triangle five equals five. And that was A, B, D. A, B, D. A, B, and D. Now, the last thing we have to define is the UVs. There's one for each vertice, and that's going to be how do we take the picture? and draw it on the triangles, okay? So there's one UV for each vertice. So the first UV is for the A point, zero. That's this part over here. Now when we're talking about the picture, the picture starts from this corner over here is zero, zero, and this is one, one. So for point A, it's zero and one. New vector two, zero and one. And for the second UV equals new vector two. And what are gonna be the points? Let's see, D. So that is zero, wait a minute, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's um, here, x is one, and x is, x is over one, and, and then zero, okay? One and zero on the y. Okay. And uv two equals new vector three, the third point is it's A, B, A, D, C. So this is for point C. Point C is right here. This is the beginning, zero, zero. So that will be zero comma zero. But um, and A, D, C is the triangle we're talking about. Now the second triangle, three equals new vector three, and it's A. So that's basically zero one again, zero one. Then. UV4 equals new vector 3. And now this is B. It's totally the opposite. Here is 0, 0, and here's 1, 1. So 1, 1. And then D again. So UV for um, 5 is new vector 3. And 1, 1 is, how do I get this one so mixed up? But it's like 0, no, X is 1 and 0, 1 and 0, 1 and 0. There we go. So this is the for the triangle A, B, D, A, B, D, okay? So that defines all our data. We, had, we have six um, points instead of three points when we had a triangle. Now let's do our thing to get the mesh, which basically we just copy the same thing we had in the triangle to get a mesh. So I'm just gonna copy it from the triangle mesh script right here. With the, all right, let's do this. Let's outline collapse the definitions. And then I'll just copy the get mesh function. Okay, and then I'll paste it in my quad mesh script right there. All right, and just checking it over, our job here is to get a mesh object. So when we look at our empty quad mesh object, we don't have a mesh filter and we don't have a mesh renderer. So we add a component for mesh filter and we add a component for mesh renderer. And then on the mesh renderer, 
there's a material slot. So we'll say what the material is from what the, the, um, the user said in the inspector window. And now we're going to go about getting the pointer to the mesh object. So if we're in the U Unity editor like we are here, we have to use the shared mesh. All right. So from the mesh filter, I, I set it to the shared mesh. But if that is not set to anything yet, it's null, then I allocate a new mesh. And that's what the mesh is going to equal. But if we actually compiled our game and it's running all by itself without Unity, then we use the mesh filter mesh instead. And we make sure that it's allocated. And at the end of it, end of it all, we return the mesh object. And that will be right here. We have the mesh object. So now the last thing we have to do is actually set our mesh data to our mesh object. So that's the job of set mesh. And that code too will be the same as it was in triangle. So, so far it's looking like the only code that's different was the actual code to define the mesh, which makes sense because one is a triangle and this one is a quad, you know, there's different points. So let's see now set mesh. We have our mesh and now we want to set the data on that mesh. So we call set mesh. And here's set mesh. So um, first we clear out all the data and then we set our data to the mesh for the vertices, the triangles and the UV. And then we recalculate all the things like the normals for the light, the bounds for the extents of the mesh and tangents in case we're using um, making a shader graph. Okay, in case you're using the lightweight render pipeline or the universal render pipeline, we calculate that. So then everything should be set and everything should show. Okay, so this was the quad mesh script and this is the triangle mesh script. The only thing different was this function. As you can see, it's a little smaller because it's one triangle. And I think in the um, triangle video, I was adding the, the um, transform position of the empty game object. Uh, you don't have to do that. That was a mistake. So I'll just tell you now. That's why it's gone. And in the quad mesh, it's also gone. All right, so now we have the script. Let's save it. Let's go back to Unity. And let's see what happens. We should still have our triangle mesh, and we should have our new quad mesh. So file save. We're going to this cube thing on the floor, it's just a reference for where we expect the, um, these procedural meshes to show. So I press play and let's see what we get. We get, okay, we get the triangle mesh and we get the new quad mesh, which is basically A, um, D, and C, and then another triangle, A, B, and D. But we didn't set the material on the script, so that's why it's still pink. So let's set the material on the script. Yep, you see right here, we didn't set it, so we set it. And then we see how it looks. Bam. We got a quad. So we can keep going on and on with this. The next logical thing to do would be to make a cube. All right. But that's where this video ends. And we'll do another one. Bye. You made it to the end of the video. I'm so proud of you. This is my website. The main thing I want to show you is that for any of these videos that you've seen on YouTube, I have the tutorial section, which has the blue links for the projects and the orange links are the files. Also, you could go over here and play some of the games we made in the game camp.